Hey guys, my name is Morgan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so last week I talked about my Echeveria pulvinita. This week I have a very special guest. I will be talking about my Begonia corallina or Begonia lacerna. This Begonia was hybrid hybridized in 1982. It used to be called Corallina de lacerna. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what it used to be called. And now it's most known as Begonia lacerna. I first discovered it as Begonia corallina, but me in particular, I call it Buddy's Begonia because it has very special meaning to me and I'll get into that. It's actually native to Switzerland. Parentage of this plant, I did not look up how to say them, so I will put them down here below, but these two names down here is what created this begonia. I thought that was pretty cool. It grows like crazy. I propagated this from a cutting that I got at work. It grew roots really quickly. It's been a year almost next week since I planted it and it had two leaves at first. The cutting only had two leaves and now it has eight leaves? One, two, three. It has seven leaves. A new leaf is coming out but it did have three other leaves that I had to cut off because a lighting problem that I did not foresee. Care tips for this plant would be temperature. They can probably withstand the regular household temperature between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. They are not cold tolerant or frost tolerant, so they're definitely better in indoor plants if you live in a place that has a very cold winter. They can withstand heat, like being outside heat, if you live in a humid place. Um, I live in Utah. It's very dry here. So if I were to put this begonia outside, basically it would just die if I were to try to put it outside because it's too hot here and it's very dry. That It's not humid at all during the summer. So temperature between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Lighting. I strongly suggest bright indirect light because I had this in an east facing window and I had it right in front of the window and the, th the three other leaves that were here bleached. On top of that, I didn't have a humidifier at the time so some of the leaves started to get a little crispy. They're still doing it but I have a humidifier now so the newer leaves are doing much better. I can show you this leaf. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some browning on the edges. I had to cut some tips off because humidity. So that's another thing about this plant. This begonia in particular, cane begonias, can withstand not having a lot of humidity. But if you live in a dry place like me, I highly suggest getting a humidifier. Since I've gotten a humidifier, this is doing much better. The new leaves, like, look at this leaf. Look at that. It's huge. It's huge. It's just growing like crazy. So bright indirect light and high humidity. At least I've heard 45 and up. I try to have mine at 65, but it's more like 55 and it's doing much better. So stay away from harsh direct sunlight. Like right now I am in a room that has a Southwest facing window. And if I were to put this up against the window, we're in the afternoon, it gets that very, dark, like deep, harsh, direct sunlight, it would scorch the leaves. They would bleach and dry up, crinkle, and die. So don't do that. <laughs> Watering. I water mine about once a week. These guys like to have more on the moist, dry side of soil. They don't like to be bone dry, but they don't like to be like soggy, wet all the time. And they don't like their feet to stay wet. You need a planter that has drainage holes let the soil dry, not completely, but like halfway through. I also use a moisture meter. I just wait till it gets to like a three, two, two or three, and then I water it. And then that should be good with watering. If you start seeing crispy edges on your begonia, that's probably an indication that you need more humidity. Your air is too dry. If the leaves are, see how mine are kind of, they're bouncy and stiff. They're not like droopy. 
if they were droopy, <laughs> if they were droopy, it would probably mean that you are underwatering it or overwatering it. Fertilize this begonia about once a week when you normally would water this plant. Dilute it by half. Oh my gosh, Roxy is here to say hello again. Roxy, what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> You're so curious. What's what's going on? You just want to look out the window. That's all you want. You're not even coming to say hello. You just want to look out the window. Are we going to do this every episode? Okay, you gotta go. Anyway, so just to recap on care tips. Temperature, 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. They do not like the cold. Lighting, bright, indirect sunlight. Do not put it in a window that gets very harsh afternoon lighting. Even an east-facing window, getting that sun all day until the afternoon, I found was too harsh and too bright for my leaves because they bleached. Watering, let the soil dry at least halfway through. Not completely, they like to stay a little on the moist side, but don't leave it soggy. Make sure you have well-draining soil and a pot that has drainage holes. I water mine once a week and it seems to be doing very well. Humidity, these guys can thrive without humidity, but if the air is too dry, they will become crispy. So I do suggest if you want it to look beautiful and not get crispy at all, to have a humidifier. Humidity levels between 45 and 65 would be ideal. I keep mine about, probably about 55. My humidifier is having a hard time keeping the humidity in this room because it's a front sitting room, so there's no door closing it off to the rest of the house. So the humidity gets sucked into the rest of the house. This is my first time having a humidifier. I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but last night it was like foggy in the house from the humidifier. And I don't understand how people have humidifiers without that happening. So if anyone has any ideas, help me. So now I'll get on to real quick, the story behind this begonia. I call it Buddy's Begonia. I mentioned this story in my very first episode, but basically last year, my dog Buddy passed away. He had epilepsy. At the time I was propagating this, you know, not knowing that that was going to happen, but I just happened to be propagating this for a couple months before he passed. The day after he passed away, I wanted to do something in honor of him and I didn't want to sit and sulk and be sad. I wanted to be productive so I decided to pop this up in his honor because it's a unique plant. It's the most unique plant I had at the time. He was unique. I'll insert some pictures. He was a mutt. I thought it would be perfect to represent him as a plant. <laughs> If Buddy was a plant, this is what he would be. <laughs> it started out with two leaves, and then the third month after he passed, it grew a new leaf. And then it kind of kept doing that every month. It was beautiful to see that for every month he was gone, a new leaf would emerge, and it just made me happy. And <sighs> just gotta laugh it out. <laughs> so yeah, Buddy's begonia. It's in a pot that was the color of his first collar, blue classic. I think that's it. So this might be a short episode. I'll probably continue doing a plant a day for every plant that I have. I'm also going to be doing plant terminology. I mentioned that in my first episode. That That's one of the things I wanted to do. I've been doing a lot of research so I've come up with a lot of words that I've heard YouTubers or other plant people use. I don't know how they found out what these words mean. Like how did they learn this? I want to help and provide knowledge on these words for other people who, who like me, don't know what they mean. That's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Why are you freaking out? I don't know if you're in the frame. You might be. <coughs> anyway, so I guess that's my cue to end this video because Roxy's freaking out for some reason. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you to figure out how to care of your plant. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. If I missed anything, please do let me know and give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for next week's video. I will be back. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye bye. <laughs>